All right. So what we're going to do is um, create a new stock code. So we go new. And this is going to be a consignment item. Like that. And we've got to set this to consignment. And um, this is be our sell price down here. And the detail, we've got to set this to um, to a certain, there's two types of consignments. There's consignment and there's a thing called rebate consignment. So we want to set this one to consignment for starters. Uh, and then we click OK. That's how you set up the. Um, okay, so you've got to set the supply, right? In here, we'll create a new one. Um, contest, consignment test, test. All right, supply. I hate this. Doesn't refresh. It's a bug. Can you um, make a note of that and just remind me? Vlad might fix that. So, um, actually, that's a bug that you could fix. If you go into a new, it's when it comes back, it needs to refresh that screen. It's a very easy thing to fix. Okay, so we've created the consignment item, right? Um, but then the next thing we want to do is, is with consignment inventory, you get the goods from the supplier before you pay for them. Yeah. Right, so you receive delivery. So you need a consignment delivery of that item from that supplier. Right, and you go in here, control space bar, and it, it only shows, you can't select anything. You'll notice that the items on this screen are only consignment items. It won't let you select a non-consignment type item, and so we see receive a hundred of these. Doesn't matter about the price; it's irrelevant at this point in time. Um, the next thing you do is you sell the item. We do a sales invoice to some customer, and. Uh, we sell that item, uh, a consignment item. And you can sell other items as well. Yep. Um, and we're going to sell 20 of these. Okay. Um, okay, finish. Now, okay, we've got a credit warning message. And so now we've made a sale. Now, the thing is, we can then do another sale, consignment invoice. Oh, uh, sorry. Sales invoice. Um, they won't be using consignment sales invoices, so we need to disable that. File system settings, batch types. They will not be using these ones. Or will they? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, so we sell to another customer. Um, the same item. Right. Okay. Ah, I've made a mistake in this. Um, when I set up this stock code, it's very important you've got to set the um, the unit cost in here, because when you sell it, we need to know. So that's that's another critical thing. You need to know what the cost is because when you sell it, the consignment they you, you must know what the cost is because we only pay for it after we've sold it, and not the other way around. So it has to be there, and so that means unfortunately I've got to redo this. All right 
Now it's come up. I'm going to sell 30 of these. Okay, that's fine. Um, okay, great. And I've got to fix up that first sale that I made here. Um, uh, it was 20 of them, right? Just going to recare 20 of them, yeah? Okay, finish. Okay. Right, so... Um, so we've got those two transactions in the system now. Yep. Okay, now consignment works. Basically, I've just made two sales. So at the end of a given period, for example, a week, um, what we need to do is uh, produce... A, do the, we've, done the, we've got the consignment delivery. And now we're going to pay for the goods that we've sold. And the only way to do that is to import, import those transactions as a consignment purchase invoice. So you go file import transactions right? and then you get this screen and you hit the enter key which basically is the same as clicking the templates right and then you go all right we're going to go now there is um, there's two consignment types of transactions here there's consignment pure consignment and there's consignment where we've actually been paid. So there's, uh, they've got an agreement with some of their suppliers where they only pay for the consignment after they've been paid. All right. So we'll do this one first because this is just a basic consignment. And when we hit the enter key, uh, now it's done. Ah. Uh, it's brought in across a few of these but here's the two consignments that we've done um, and it's picked up the unit prices being $80 XGST but they're showing as ink GST so that's the correct that's the that's what we need to pay our supplier um, now it should be prompting for for which supplier you're going to do this consignment for uh, and what I'm going to do also is I'm going to go to the list here and I'm just going to reject some of these I'm going to reject this one and I really just want to do the one that I've just keyed in this one here all right so they're all rejected yeah and so now if I import that, it'll only import the one transaction. All right. Um, now, uh, I'm just going to pause this. Oh, how do I pause it? Oh, here we go. Pause. Control F11. Okay, so um, now what we're going to do is create another test consignment on it this is a cons with paid right. a consignment item that had item that is paid okay we set this to consignment we set the price to 180 and we've got to remember to set the cost to 90 and we set the supplier to we'll create a new one here a c o n a con actually con cons paid consignment this is a test uh, um, where um, items paid okay um, they don't have to be I mean the one supplier you can mix and match it doesn't really matter you know what I mean um, and we've got to refresh the screen select this one you're going to fix that bug for me so we set up the price, we set up the cost, we set the consignment paid, we set this, and in the details, 
we've got to set this to uh, consignment and that's pretty much it that should be enough and so now what we're going to do is we're going to go purchase consignment delivery from this supplier get that stuff cons paid um, we'll get 200 of those price doesn't matter because we del there is no asset value we then sell it to some supplier customer sorry we select that item cons paid and we'll go with uh, 10 of these okay and yep okay and we'll do another sale invoice uh, and we'll go for um, this one here and we'll go Acons paid and we'll this one will sell 15 okay finish that okay and now we will um, we'll actually pay we'll get money for just one of those from say the Mirabuka customer and we get some sort of method of payment actually we'll go with check that's nice and simple uh, you don't need to fill in all that information we can hide that if you like and we're going to get paid uh, I'm going to use autofill so I can just hit the space bar to say yep we're getting paid for these items here um, actually I'm just going to pay that one that's the one that's dated today and we finish that and so what will happen now is if we go file import so we can show this shut this down if we go file import transactions um, and we import this consignment paid it says who what's the supplier and it's going to be this one and in theory when I run this only has one record and it's for that mirror booker customer that paid us but the the other record didn't come through and so that's the purchase consignment so we're going to pay the supplier for that item for that sale because we've been paid for that item and that's the cycle for uh, for consignments paid close that down and then um, the last one we need to deal with is rebate consignments I need to set this to consignment now rebates are um, kind of tricky um, again we need to know what the cost is what happens with rebate consignments is we actually pay the supplier the full amount the full two hundred dollars and then they rebate the difference back to us between the cost and the and the, and the, and the price uh, it's a crazy kind of system but some of them just do it that way and in order to right so we need a rebate consignment like this and I think that's it we need to set that to rebate consignment that all looks good uh, except I've got to select the supplier and we're going to create a new supplier in here just to keep them nice and separate and simple for the moment you can mix them up
All right, a rebate consignment supplier. Um, again, we've got to do this annoying thing here, but there it is. Select. Okay, that's all done. And then we're going to go and um, we're going to get some consignment delivery of that item from the uh, rebate consignment supplier. Select. And we're going to select that item. And we're going to get uh, 300 of those. Doesn't matter about the price at this point in time. And then we're going to sell some of that stuff. And we sell that to a customer. And we sell that item. Uh, there's the item. We sell uh, 40 of those. And we'll finish that. We do another sale. Sales invoice. And we'll sell some to a different customer. Okay. Sell the item again. Consignment rebate. Uh, we'll sell 10 of them. No, we'll sell five. Five of those. Finish. And now we need to go file import transactions. Hit the enter key. And we, this is a two-step process. Step one is we need to pay the supplier in full for the consignment sales. So we select this one and we hit the enter key again. Um, and we've got, um, again, we might add prompting of the supplier to that screen. Um, but there's the rebate consignment transaction. So basically we're paying, we sold 40 of these at $200 a pop. Uh, and so we're going to pay the supplier the full $9,000 that we received from the customer. Uh, we're going to receive a rebate back from the supplier for $2,781.82. Uh, so we'll finish that. But the rebate that we get back becomes a sale. So we actually have to um, we have to we have to uh, re-import this as step two. All right, load and run. And we hit the enter key. And that should in theory create the um, yeah it didn't work so let's have a look at that might just pause that okay so that didn't work because we made one little mistake in the setup of this rebate item no no it's not the setup of the rebate item that the problem is it's the setup with the supplier we need a corresponding customer code for the supplier because we're going to we're buying doing the purchase consignment from the supplier and then we need to create a sale and we need a customer record for the sale so what we need to do is we need to go into customers and we need to create a new one a customer record in here and um, we're going to call it um, uh, a rebate consignment supply as customer record All right because we're going to create a sale to that to that customer so a rebate right and uh, now that's interesting to from the screen when I click new it did refresh but it's only when I'm in the select screen that it doesn't it's interesting I'll uh, uh, so what I need to do is uh, in the delivers thing here we need the rebate customer reference which is a r e b zero one 
there's no look up for that because it's a user defined field and we can't it just isn't doesn't going to work that way so a rebate zero one and now we should be able to import that consignment rebate sales invoice file import transactions enter step two load and run and import and there is the rebate sale consignment rebate sale for the $2,781.82 this is the hello and so we import that and that is the cycle the three cycles of rebates and consignments and so on so that's it that'll do